Hello my friends, warmly welcome to my ASP.NET course session. Today I am going to show how to create the ASP.NET 2.1 application with Bootstrap 4. Still didn't to subscribe my channel, please subscribe now. Okay, first of all we want to know what is the Bootstrap. Simply we can say Bootstrap is the most popular HTML, CSS and JavaScript framework for developing responsive mobile first websites bootstrap is completely free and you can download and use it okay let's start first of all you want to create sp.net core 2.1 application if you want some guideline to create sp.net core 2.1 application please watch my previous video okay well done i hope you guys uh, you have successfully created sp.net core 2.1 application like this control like this and new folder home folder and shared folder okay next I will go to Bootstrap for site. Here you can see some downloads links such as Bootstrap CDN path. This is a Bootstrap mini CSS file. This is Bootstrap mini JS file. Also you can see jQuery 311331 and proper JS file. Also, you can see npm command, and here you can see latest Bootstrap stable version is the 4.1. Go to our Visual Studio, and here right click on your project and go to add and click client side library you are going to add some library files into the our project such as bootstrap mini css file javascript file and jquery file and cell as proper js file you can see some providers cdnjs file system and here select NuGet package manager type bootstrap at four dot Dot one dot zero. Select four dot one dot zero and select choose specific file. Here you can see many library files here. In here I'll go to select bootstrap CSS file and bootstrap mini CSS file. As a last, I'm going to select bootstrap js file and bootstrap js file. And you can see the our target location www root folder and inside libs folder and inside bootstrap folder. If you want to change your some directory please type like this i do not going to change my default path i'll click 
the store button. You can see here my files are, are downloading now. Okay, my files are downloaded. You can see here my CSS file and JavaScript file. Additionally, I want to add jQuery 331 file. Again, select right click on the project and, and go to select, add you get and select client side library and here click j jQuery at 3.3 point point three point three point one also you can see mini library file and here I'll go to select jQuery JSON jQuery Slim JS and click install button. Here you can see now installing my jQuery file. My jQuery file successfully installed and I want to add another JavaScript file such as proper JS file and I go to bootstrap site and here you can see proper mini JS file the CDN path like this and go to project and right click on the project folder and click add and click client side library and select file system and paste to a CDN link you can see here your proper mini.js file and can see your target location library and proper mini.js file if you want that into the bootstrap file and here type bootstrap and click install button Done. You can see here my proper file installed successfully. Next, go to our layout page, and here you can see currently I don't have any JavaScript file or CSS file. In header tag, I'm going to do few changes. environment include development also Change include to exclude. exclude. Right. Copy again and paste here. Okay, well done. Now you can go.
go to the bootstrap file and you can see bootstrap css file and bootstrap mini css file in the development environment i'll go to that bootstrap css file and exclude the development i'll go to add bootstrap mini css file as a as a last i'll go to add my jquery file first of all i want to add jquery file i can drop jquery js here and i can drop jquery mini js file here next i go to add for mini js I have only one proper file and I'll copy that file next I'll go to add bootstrap js file list js bootstrap js file drag and drop here also drag and drop here bootstrap new js file ok well done but I want to change some configuration in startup to the startup class and double click after the use MVC and here at app dot static files new static file options and file provider assign and new physical So potential fixed and you see Microsoft dot extension dot yeah. and in inside the physical file provider path dot combine directory dot get and here I at www okay perfect our configuration past has done next I'll go to my home page Here I'll go to some changes. New class. Jumbotron. Text. Center. Addition tag. My sp dot. Inside my container, I get another view and class view class called MD4. Three, 
add tag and add some sample description I'll copy this and paste like this and change column 2 and column 3 okay almost done let's go to the loop result Wow, it looks nice. I hope you guys you learned something from this. If you have any new idea or any comments, please write down below and don't forget to subscribe my channel and press the like button. Thank you. See you again. Goodbye.